Hello to all the biohackers out there. It's Colin from MindHive, and today we're going to answer the all too important question How do nootropics actually work? Let's first address something very important. Nootropics are not smart drugs. Smart drugs are synthetic compounds that often come with a lot of physiological changes and changes in observable brainwave activity. They can very easily be abused because they tend to flood the brain with neurotransmitters, which builds up a tolerance effect just like it would with any other drug. Nootropics, by contrast, are often derived from natural sources, but even the synthetic nootropics out there still have neuroprotective effects unlike smart drugs. I would never, 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 never group lion's mane mushrooms in the same category as Adderall because lion's mane mushrooms will help your brain chemistry, whereas Adderall will only serve to disrupt it. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's take a look at how nootropics actually work. There are four ways nootropics can affect mental performance with minimal side effects. The first way is by reducing the effects of brain fog. I'm sure we've all felt the effects of brain fog where your mental capacity feels like it's been reduced to that of a fifth grader. Nootropics can increase the metabolic activity of the mitochondria in the neuronal cells. You might recall from biology class that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So when the brain's mitochondria functions more efficiently, you end up with more energy, less brain fog, and heightened mental performance. Nootropics can also reduce brain fog by increasing the blood flow and therefore the oxygen and nutrient flow into the brain. Now the second way that nootropics can work is by acting on neurotransmitters, which are basically just brain chemicals. One of the reasons nootropics can be safer and also more sustainable when compared to smart drugs is that they stimulate the release of neurotransmitter precursors as opposed to binding directly to the synapses. For example, GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain, which is associated with sedation and calmness. L-theanine, which is a common synthetic nootropic, is a precursor to GABA. So when L-theanine is absorbed, it tells the brain to release GABA without flooding the GABA receptors because it's more of an indirect process. This subtle difference means that you won't build up a tolerance to L-theanine ever, which makes it very distinct from smart drugs. Nootropics can also affect neurotransmitters by increasing receptor site sensitivity. CBD is a great example of this. It increases endocannabinoid receptor site sensitivity, which is why it doesn't get you high in the same way that THC would. The third way that nootropics work is by supporting neuroprotection. Certain nootropics can increase the brain's antioxidant capacity, clear the brain of neurotoxins, and protect the brain against the effects of stress and low-level inflammation. Turmeric is a great example of this as its active ingredient curcumin is one of the most potent anti-inflammatory compounds found in nature. The last and maybe the most exciting way that nootropics can support enhanced cognitive performance is by supporting neurogenesis. Popular science once told us that the brain was pretty much set in stone by the time you reach early adulthood. But of course, we now know that this is far from the truth. The brain is constantly killing off old cells, old neurons, and creating new ones to take their place. That's neurogenesis in a nutshell. Things like healthy eating, proper sleep, better exercise, and mental stimulation can all aid in that process. And of course, surprise, surprise, nootropics can also stimulate neurogenesis. And they can do this in a few distinct ways. They can provide the building blocks to create new neurons. They can increase the levels of nerve growth factor, which is an important protein for the maintenance, growth, and survival of neurons. And lastly, nootropics can help maintain the integrity of the cell membranes, which is needed for things like neuroplasticity, or the ability for your brain to create new connections between neurons. And if you're looking for something particular to help with this category, lion's mane mushrooms are one of the best known nootropics for stimulating neurogenesis. The brain is incredibly, incredibly complex, and nootropics appear to act on different pathways in the brain to not only boost our mental capacity, but also protect our brains against the effects of oxidative stress and age-related neurological degeneration. Of course, it's important to note that you might not experience these effects right away, especially not the first time that you take the nootropic. 
It might take weeks, maybe even months to start noticing changes. Thanks for watching everyone. Go ahead and hit the like button if you found this video helpful or interesting in some way. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about nootropics or cognitive enhancement in general. And make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this every single week. And as always, happy hacking.